This time we're going to look at a particular problem some people have been bringing up with me. There are these two verbs, talk and walk, or the ALK, the A-L-K combination, first is something that has been confusing a few people, because it's a triple letter combination. It's not covered in the, de that, well, some are, but this particular triple letter combination is not covered in the Descript manual. So first let's look at it. A, the simplest way to connect it would be A-L-K. You could also go A-L-K. As you can see, the L has been connected to the K. These two options are in the Descript manual. What's not in the Descript manual is the best option, A, and then you use the AL combo, and then you just simply draw the K like so, and boom, you've got ALK, all onto the A bar with few strokes and very small space occupied. So that's something missing from the manual. Maybe it can be included in the next version. So we've got talk. Well, first, let's look at the simplest way to connect this, T, A, and then we'll use the version of talk that we've, we've just seen. I'm not going to look at the other versions for this. Of course, there's tons and tons of ways to write the word talk, but we're going to stick with the, the version that I'm trying to introduce here. Talk, and then if we had walk, as you can see, I like to draw, my, when I have my triple W, I usually use this line. This is the best line to use, I find, because it's clear. And then I like to make mine kind of curved or give them some kind of shape to them, the, the dashes surrounding the side of the word line. So, we've got talk and walk. Now, many people go, okay, even when they get this far, they then start complaining, but so often I have to put ing on it, and that becomes such a pain. The word just becomes so long, especially when you don't have this combo. When you don't have this combo, you'll be looking at a word that's like this, and then ing afterwards. It's just not fun and takes a lot of strokes. So, let's, let me show you how that's done. What most people haven't seen, what most people do know is that there's an ng combination like so, so you can use this. This can save time and energy sometimes. And it's beautiful because it's very flexible. As long as it's these two spaces on the side, they can be really any shape you want. I wouldn't make them squares, but you could make them wing shapes. That's fine. And it's still NG, which is very fun in the word angel. So if you had A-N-G-E-L, kind of got wings on the word angel or etc. You've got lots of fun stuff to do there. So you got that NG. What else do we have? Well, we could go I-N-G. That's the one we're going to be looking at today mainly. We've also got this option, I, N, G. Remember, you can connect the N off of the I like so, and then you can also connect to the G. As long as there's something entering this I cup, you know this is an I, and then you'll know how to read from there on. So I'd recommend using this or this version. So if we look at the word talking, T-A-L-K, all we need to do is choose either one of these and extend them a little lower than the other, or we could do both even and catch them with an I cup. And then we've got talking. See, when you got ING, the easiest way is to just loop and then curl. Loop, curl. I cup, loop, curl. ING. You can also even bring this above the previous lines when you're doing them. So what I mean is you can go T, A, L, K. Actually, let's move the K all the way to the edge so it's out of the way for the, this moment, for this instance. And what we can do is we can start above, come down below, and then we can fill up this space up here with our NG. Remember, you read this afterwards, because first you process the A, and then you continue on to finding out what comes after the A. So first, as you're processing the A, you'll go L, K, and then you'll go on to the I, N, G, like that. Um, but this one I don't, is, is a little ambiguous, because people start to get confused. Well, I don't know which order I, could, I should read in, because we're looking at that. So I like to keep it underneath it. So we'll use walking as an example now. Like so. And what I would actually do is... For aesthetic purposes, you draw your A at all. You draw your A first, and then you try to draw your L over here, your K nice and small. And then walking. There's a whole lot of options, and I like this one. When I draw it like this, I, I like kind of like kind of feel like there's somebody walking along the way here. This motion here creates this fluid motion, and this kind of looks like a person.